So, how does parametric insurance work? Let's say we are creating a policy to ensure vaccines being transported via ship. As insurers, we want our policy to reflect the amount of risk a client is taking. For vaccines, we want to make sure that they are not exposed to heat during transportation, as this increases the likelihood that they will be unusable on arrival. We can do that with parametric insurance, or a policy which responds to real-time sensor data. First, we make a cargo model in Renew. We can use Renew's headless APIs to communicate with a temperature sensor located in our vaccine container on board the ship. This sensor relates the current temperature of the vaccines to our model. In the model itself, we can dictate acceptable temperature ranges. If the cooling unit in the shipping container breaks, the sensor will begin to relay higher temperatures to our model, eventually exceeding our acceptable temperature limits. In turn, this prompts the policy to increase the premium. An alert can then be sent directly to the underwriter, indicating that the policy has changed and to contact the client for next steps. So here we've got a sensor kit connected to the Renew model on the screen. Imagine that we're pricing a cargo policy for a large pharmaceutical company who ship uh, vaccines across the world. Initially we've set a premium of $50 million to be charged to the client. However, vaccines are sensitive to temperature uh, fluctuations. Um, so our underwriter might want to uh, increase the policy's premium if the temperature of the container carrying the vaccines goes above say 27 and a half degrees. Uh, our Arduino sensor is gonna uh, act as a proxy for sensors on the containers themselves and essentially uh, communicate any breaches in, in the temperature readings uh, to the Renew model and increase the premium uh, in line with those readings. Now, uh, the temperature in this room is pretty high, it's, I think it's already above 27 and a half degrees, but just in case, let's uh, increase the temperature of this uh, sensor by putting it above a heat source. So here you can see uh, a bunch of readings coming through on the screen. And you might also notice that the uh, premium here has been has, has gone up from the original 50 million to uh, 60 million now, and will continue to grow as long as we continue seeing readings uh, that are above the, uh, above the threshold. What we've done here is essentially given underwriters the ability to dynamically price policies uh, based on the uh, changing nature of the risk itself rather than the uh, nature of the risk at the point of underwriting. So a great way to kick off the inaugural creative hacks at SAV. What inspired you to do it? Um, so I've always really had an interest in, in, in sensor technology ever since I did my first internship. Uh, and whilst I was in the insurance industry, it was uh, pegged as one of the, the next big things to, to have an, an effect on the insurance market. So uh, I just researched it further and this, uh, this hack is a, a product of, of essentially, essentially that, that research and, and what's been going on in the market. Great stuff. And will this change the world of insurance? Uh, I hope so. So, um, the, in, in theory, there are a lot of uh, different uh, use cases for Internet of Things. Um, I'm hoping this sort of hack is, is a catalyst behind actually using uh, some of that uh, uh, theory in practice. And yeah, uh, it'd be interesting to see if, 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 if it has an effect on the market. Indeed. And are there other companies out there at the moment already doing this or doing something similar? Uh, started so, by the name of, of Parcel, uh, were part of the Lloyd's cohort a couple of years back, uh, and they actually provide uh, cold cover insurance that is uh, using sensor technology to, to pay pay claims based off of sensor readings. Um, in in more uh, traditional shipping uh, and insurance uh, companies like like MERS, for example, have sensors on their containers. Um, whether that data is being used uh, by insurers to, to price, uh, I haven't personally seen that in, in my time in the industry. Uh, and if those companies do want to be inspired by your hack and build these uh, themselves, how, how long did this hack take you? And, and we should probably ask as well, how much of your training and development budget have you spent on now burn Arduino sensors? <laughs> so the uh, Arduino sensors themselves uh, were not that pricey. It's only about uh, £25. Uh, for the for the sensor uh, for the sensor kit, so the hack itself uh, only took about a half a day of work, but most of that uh, was spent on setting up the Arduino sensor kit and making sure that the uh, data was getting sent across to to my computer. Uh, integrating that with the Renew platform actually didn't take very long uh, at all because Renew's uh, API surface is quite easy to integrate with and it, it's pretty standard. Uh, so yeah. Interesting.